Lake and Bay Backwater proudly presents Chew on This with Captain Ben Chancy. There he is. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. Oh, oh baby. Nice stuff, baby. That <laughs> is what we came for. Hey, you guys. I want to welcome you to this edition of the Chew on This Saltwater Fishing Show. I'm back here with Captain Ken Hudson, and we're fishing in Stewart, Florida at St. Lucie Inlet. It's our, our, well, actually, this is the first fish that we've landed on our boat today. I'm not sure how much he weighs, but he's a fat one. Hopefully, we'll put a lot of these in the boat for you today. He's ready. Guys, watch this when I pull him out of the water. He's ready. What a pig, Cap. That is <laughs> nice, baby. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. He just keeps coming and coming. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. Oh. Count you the man, baby. I, I, I told you the big one's moved in. All right, you guys, I'm going to put it back in the water. As you can tell, this is a big breeder. But if this is anything to tell you what's going to happen today, we've got a good show in store for you. You guys stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome to the Chew On This Saltwater Fishing Show. Fishing television with intensity. Your host, Captain Ben Chansey, invites you to come along for some line singing, leader free and tackle busting action. Chew On This. Hey, if big fish is what you're looking for, then you've come to the right fishing show. Giant Goliaths, Monster Snook, Hungry Man Eating Sharks, Huge Redfish, and Big Time Tarpon. Chew, 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 chew on this. Fishing television with intensity. Intensity. Are you ready for some of the most intense, highly entertaining saltwater fishing you have ever seen? Then sit back, tighten up, and chew on this with Captain Ben Chansey. <laughs> <Get flyers. laughs> You guys, that is a baby doll right there. Biggest one I've seen in a long time, I hate to say it. 26 and a half pounds. She's amazing. You want to me measure that fish, Ben? Let's see how long it is? Eh, I just give me your guesstimate. You see these big guys all the time. That fish is 40, 42 inches, maybe 44 inches. Well, what you guys think of it at home? You put your own guess on it. I'm gonna go with what the captain says. 42 <clears throat> to 44 inches, he's a pig. Let me give you one more quick view of him. And I don't like holding them up unless I'm supporting them. So look at that baby girl. Look how thick she is oh, across the back. Oh, she's a monster. Looks like a tarpon to me almost with a strike down the side. Well, I'm gonna let her go. And I hope you send one of your relatives over to see me. Maybe, maybe Pops or maybe Big Mama. That impressed me. I know all you girls are the bigger ones. So hey, send Big Mama, okay? All right, girl. Look how thick she is across the back. Yeah, what I'm trying to do here is uh, keep my thumb in her mouth until she lets go of it. And then when she lets go of it, you let me, she's ready to go. I don't want to move her back and forth. We've got a good outgoing tide going. She gets plenty of water going through her gills. And when she decides she's ready to go, she'll go. And like I said, I want to treat these guys as best I can, these girls. But she's a beauty. All right, she's starting to feel like she's wanting to go. There she goes. I love See that. See you later, girl. I love that. Is that not cool? That's a beauty. Swim away, no harm for the worse. <clears throat> well, I don't know any other better way to start, do you? Uh-uh. That's awesome. <laughs> Give it up. That's awesome, baby. Good job. <laughs> I Good told you job. they were here. That's right. <clears throat> Those bigger fish moved in um, about two weeks ago. Everything's been happening later this year, usually by uh, middle of June, we we start seeing some bigger fish, but this year it's been you know mid July before they really got in here good. But the uh, the good thing about it is we've had good bait since basically the end of March. So you know, good bait, good fish. That's awesome. I like that. Awesome fish. Do it again. It's your turn, brother. Exactly. 
This segment is brought to you by Angela Chancy, your Southwest Florida Realtor. You guys, it's awesome. We just got, we can look around and it's pretty green water coming through. We can look around and see black spots. It's like clouds coming through. But instead of it being clouds of bait, it's clouds of big snook coming through. It's, it's amazing. You know, the only other time where I've really experienced this type of fishing is redfish with Captain Eric Menino on the, uh, on the Mosquito Lagoon. And you know, we were all one fish, 25 to 50 pounds. And we could see them with big balls of fish all over the place. So to see snook do the same thing, it's pretty, pretty rare for me. I know that on this coast they see it quite often, but for me it's, a, it's an awesome sight to see. This segment is being brought to you by Lake and Bay Backwater. <laughs> Come on, my man. Oh, man, that fish is strong. Hey. Are you sliding across the deck of the boat on your crotch? Just, yeah, just about. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Yes, it is. Skiing. All right, look at me. Skiing. I'm going to be greedy. Stewart's. I'm going to put me a bait on here. <laughs> Skiing Stewart style. Go ahead, get in there. That's that school right behind us, that black spot. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, you're going to like this one. You are going to like this one, my oh, friend. Oh, he a nice one? Yeah, oh. he's pretty. <laughs> oh, I got a pelican. <laughs> I'll trade you. You want to reel the snook in? I'll reel the pelican. Oh, no, no. There it came we go. off. Oh, yeah, you're going to like this one. Heck yeah, nice. Look at that. One. Too cool. Nice fish, my man. Nice fish. Let me grab that joker for you. There you go. Bring him right here. Oh, he's coming back. Uh -oh. He ain't done. Well, Here you we, know, go. we might be withering in the heat. Here we go. But he doesn't seem to be. That, that's fish is a nice fish, man. There you go. Very Bring him right nice here fish. Let me see. Very nice Let me fish. See. He ain't wanting to go on that other side. Oh, I'll make him go. Him Dude, you guys got the fattest look <laughs> over here. Is that not cool? What a beauty. <clears throat> I'm not going to weigh him because, you know, he ain't the super, super big. But I bet you he's 16, 17 pounds. Oh, yeah, that's our breeding stock right there. Yeah. There goes yeah. that snook finger I was telling you about. <laughs> you need the pliers? Nah, I get it. There you go. Big girl, come on out. Give me that. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Perfect. All right, you guys at home, check this baby girl out. Look at that sweetie. <laughs> you know what, Cat? You got me three to zero now. I'm going to let you go. No, nah, me turn. being an athlete, you know, <laughs> it's time for me to step off. I'm going to have to get something done here. But I'm not making him stop fishing. We're going to keep on going. He got a good lead on me, but I think I'll make a comeback. But we'll see. You guys keep on watching. We're catching beauties today. That fish is thick across the back, too. Oh, yeah. She's a beautiful fish. <clears throat> there you go, girl. I'm going to do the cut and retie, just in case. Hey, guess what? You got him? Oh, he's like, come like on. Like, they picked it up and oh, dropped it. Oh, there we go. There we go. He got it that time. All right, Ben. Way to go. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, you should be getting in there. I'd, get, I'd be right behind you. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, no, no. He's I'm not a big one. He's not a big one. No? No, nah, he's, he's decent, but he, he's not humongous. Oh, I got him. Go ahead. Throw your right. bait out. We got him. We got him. Man. Come on, girl. You know, about a 12-pound fish here, so maybe even less. Eight-pound fish. Yeah. Fighting like nobody's business, though. Pretty, pretty fish. They're mean, aren't they? Oh, yeah, I love these guys. Come on, now. We catch a lot that size. We really do. We catch a ton of them that well, that's, size. That's a nice fish. Really nice fish. <clears throat> and, you know, for, for all the guys that are eaters, this fish here is more important to... Uh... Oh, those are the best <laughs> eating sizes right there. Well, you know, these guys here... They can keep these. Well, you know the FWC uh, changed that. They put a pinch rule in effect this year, so. Yep, they sure did. That'll so. help, too. 
I raised the uh, bottom number by one inch and left the top number alone. There you go, big girl. Cool beans. Good stuff. Way to go. Keep going. Ah. This segment is brought to you by Fishing Guys homepage at FGHP.com. What's funny is, guys, I mean, I'm snook fishing with a two-speed reel that's the size of, uh, I don't know, Calcutta 700 or something like that. And it's got two speeds, so if I really start feeling like I need to crank one of these guys in, I just drop it into the low gear and crank it in on this Avet. And you know, not to mention how functionally good it is, but you know, one of my favorite parts is it's pretty blue. My well, wife says kind of like my eyes, but you know, I won't be all sissy-fied on you guys or anything like that. <laughs> all right, you got nervous there, big girl. Come on. Those fish do that to you. You got to bury that rod. Man, this thing's... Come on, baby. Pump him. Pump him. Pump him. Don't, don't do that. Pump him. Let go of his rag. Now pump him. Reel down. Reel down. Do it fast. Now pump, pump, pump. Because he'll turn his head if you do quick, quick, quick. There we go. Keep doing that. Just like that. And what it does is with these big fish, it'll turn their head and keep them coming to you. There you go, because you know our drags can't hold up these big guys sometimes. No. Nice work. I got him coming now. He's good. Almost went skiing <laughs> off the back of the boat. That's a good thing when there's a fish on the other end. <laughs> now the way that one pulled you around, if he's not 25 pounds, I'm in trouble. I'm gonna be shot. I need to go to the gym if this isn't a big fish. Oh, you're gonna like this one, Ben Chancy. Look at the flipping size of this Woo! thing. <laughs> you were gonna like that one. Right, my man. Oh. That fish has got to be 30 pounds. That's got to be a 30 pound fish. Oh my word. Oh no, no, no. no. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Did you see the size man, of that thing? Beautiful. We, had him we got the, the best part out of him. That was anyhow. nice. That was a good part. Bay was my dream boat. They used to be made right here in Jupiter. Uh -huh. I'd have cut my right leg off for a Lake and Bay when I was 16. <laughs> Been a one-legged fisherman out here on the Lake and Bay. <laughs> they're beautiful. They're, 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 you know, Gene was the guy that originally started that company, and uh -huh. he was and started in Jupiter. And then he moved up here to Stewart, and then he sold it to uh, is it Bo Johnson? No, no. no. What, what's Bo's one of the uh, captains that runs yeah, the boat? Yeah, he's one of the captains. The one he's one from Red Mike, Fish Tournament. Mike. Uh, Mike Del Duca. Yep. Yeah, I've talked to Mike, and people thought he was crazy. Yeah, I was and, looking. Uh, I was looking the other day at some pictures at the factory, and uh, some of the old 1985, 86 pictures with uh, Phil O'Bannon and those oh, yeah. guys. Yeah. Which was well, he, neat. he he built Phil um, a set a 17.6. Lake and Bay and made it deck from the front. Did you ever see that boat? <laughs> I it heard a, about it. It yep. was a neat boat. And you literally sat down like in a bass boat <laughs> and you, the rod storage, you lifted up the middle compartment and the rod storage went straight up the center line of the boat. Neat, neat boat. I still got that article from when he built that boat, believe it or not. That's they cool. did a, they did a um, article in Florida Sportsman on it. That was back when you were going to give up your right that leg. That was for when one, I was huh? ready to give up a right leg for one. <laughs> uh, well, I'm ready to catch a fish real bad, but I'm not giving up a leg for one. <laughs> They're right there. This segment is brought to you by Avet Reels, just the best made reels, period. And the cool thing is, you know, we can see those guys. Oh, we yeah. can see where they are. Yeah, I love it. I, I'm telling you, I drive, I live out in Wellington, and I drive past the Palm Beach Inlet, past the Jupiter Inlet to come here. It is, in my opinion, better. <laughs> The neat thing about fishing here, Ben, is you know once you uh, once you get on a, a bite here in the inlet, once it slows down, we can go back in the river and catch fish underneath docks and boats like you do over right. on the west coast, and and that really doesn't exist in the Palm Beach Inlet and Jupiter a little bit, but not as not as good as it is here. I can understand. I can understand very well. And we catch, you know, when we fish the docks, we'll catch. Snook, we'll catch Goliath grouper, we'll catch redfish, an occasional trout. You mean redfish on the east coast? I didn't know they exist. Yeah, right? <laughs> well, I didn't know they exist this far south. Actually, we're right here on the southern end of the Indian River, so. 
a little bit north of here in Fort Pierce, you start getting. All some right, here we go, baby. I'm in the, I'm in the party. Go. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> you almost went in. <laughs> you almost. Oh, went this in is too. a big one. Yeah. All right, I'm out of your way. I got back in the bite. That was nice. nice. I'm all yours. Hey, you guys, I got a feeling this one here might be a pig. Yep, and I'm all yours. Is, it looks like it's gonna run underneath your boat, underneath you guys. <laughs> come on. <laughs> There are some big fish out here right now. Oh, baby girl, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, get on the boat. Get on the motor. Come you on. want me to trim the motor up? No, 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 not this boat. Oh, yeah, you're all right. It's a whack. Come on. You guys, this one here's got some meat on it. Be a big one. Oh, it's a big I one. I want you to catch it. Oh, look at the it's Look at that pig. swirl back there. Yeah, you guys, look behind. Look at it coming up. Oh, my God. Up. It's, it's a huge. monster, you guys. <laughs> it's huge. Look at look that. Look at that. Oh my God! <laughs> ben, this may be the one. Ah, uh, it's a snug rolling up like a tarpon. This may be the big boy you were looking Can't for. Can't be that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what a pig. That's a big fish, my friend. Right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. She's coming at me. I think I'm on war out a little bit. I am, uh... And you guys, if you see this, I'm using an Avet here, and I'm using a heavier size reel. Look because at the size of that fish, Ben Chancy. I don't like to wear them out. <laughs> He's nice when I do. Under prop, prop. Right, we got it, we got it, we got it. That is a stud, my friend. <laughs> that is a natural what born a stud. Pretty girl. Here you go, my man. You are going to be impressed when you see this. Look at this girth on that fish. All right, don't, don't. Oh, girl, come here, come here. <laughs> Look at the girth on that fish. Look how thick it is across the back. I bet she's six inches across her back. <laughs> hey, sweetie. All right, you guys, let me pull them up for you real quick, like. And she's another one in that 26 pound range. Now, this one here is fat as can be. Oh, is that, my word. Is that not cool? Beautiful fish, you guys. <laughs> you pulled me out of my man. Good job, baby. Let me let this. You know, I know it's impolite to call girls pigs and all, but young lady, you are a pig. And you know what? She even ate without saying chew on this. She must be really, really hungry. Well, baby girl, send some more to us. Captain Ken, I appreciate it. No problem. Hey, you guys, look how pretty she is. Oh, beautiful. See you later, young lady. Isn't that cool? Oh. That is just absolutely my favorite fishing awesome, right there. Awesome, awesome, Way to go. Great Way job, go. my man. Great job. I knew it was going to happen today. This segment is being brought to you by Lake and Bay Backwater. Yep, nervous. There it is. Oh, oh. Come on, I eat see. it. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, he's up on top. The bait came completely to the top of the water yeah. with that snook in tow. Look, look at him up here on top. Oh. Watch this. Oh, if that fish, he is. he's going to get he's going to get hammered on top of the water. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You got him. Uh -oh. You got, got it? it. No, he got on him though. He got on. My him. fish got away. He got it. That fish never went down. It be, yeah, he got it. He got it. He got it. <coughs> All right, remember you only got 30 pounds. 40 pound leader. There's, these fish are 30 and 40 pounds, oh man. Look at, oh, look at that Oh, one. my goodness. That's, that's a look big at that, guy. That, look at him on top of the water. Check him out, That bro. fish is almost as big as the one I just lost. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> All right. Woo Let me play captain. I got oh you. Oh, my goodness. You guys, that's, you know, this stuff ain't liking it because I'm heavy dragging him. But uh, for his sake, it's better, her sake. If she's coming to see me now, coming to see me, she's a pretty one. <laughs> oh, Are you believing the size of these freaking fish or what? Look at that pot. Are you believing the size of these fish? You fans? are a pretty girl. Come on now. You guys, the steward fishery is just phenomenal. When you got a good guy, I can show you how to get it done out here. Woo! <laughs> Didn't like that. No, nah, she popped on my uh, hand there. You know, that's, that's the way they feed. And, that's one of the reasons why I don't like really picking them up with a boga grip too much anymore, especially without without uh, supporting that belly. Supporting that belly. I'm gonna grab the pliers because 
I'm in a tough spot right there. Yeah, let me help you out. Yeah, I appreciate that. Turn that on. There we go. A lot easier with the pliers. You gotta lift this. Right. You got. You gotta. You gotta feel there the weight go. of that fish. You got it. Yeah, I got that part. All right, you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this edition of the Two on This Saltwater Fishing Show. Captain Ken Hudson has brought the fish in. I mean, we've had a phenomenal time, had a great day. 26 pounders, 10 pounders, 15 pounders, probably 18 pounds right here. Wonderful fishing all day. Summertime, you guys get a chance. Make sure you give Captain Ken a call because this is a great fishery. And you know what? I hate to say guarantees in fishing, but it's almost guaranteed. You come out here, you're going to get your shots at big fish like this. If you don't get the big one, you're at least going to catch a lot. It's a great, great, great fishery you got here, sir. I love it. It's as close as you can get to a guarantee without a guarantee. That's exactly. for sure. Exactly. Well, here you guys. Check out this beauty. Oh, look at that. Got broken lines. She is awesome. Too cool. Awesome. Oh, Dude. check out the line on the back there. Broken line. <laughs> cool or what? That is neat. Well, you guys, like I always say, whether you're fishing with an artificial or a live bait, when you see that big fish, you tell them, chew on this. See you guys next week.